You know, in the old days, in 1890, there was much more of an understanding of spiritual warfare in the Christian church than there is now. And uh, people really, I feel, had it down then about the way to address the issue of incursions of satanic and demonic forces into uh, the congregations and into the buildings of the Christian churches, the Christian faiths. Um, there's a lot going on today in America with regard to that. And uh, I thought this would just fill the bill. It will be particularly apt to those of you that are experiencing this kind of persecution by satanic forces, even within the buildings of churches, even, even amongst the congregations of Christian faiths. And it will, help, it will help all of us, me and you and all of us, to endure in our faith through these times. The 1890 Prayer to St. Michael O glorious Archangel St. Michael, Prince of the Heavenly Host, defend us in battle and in the struggle which is ours against the principalities and powers, against the rulers of this world of darkness, against spirits of evil, in high places. Come to the aid of men whom God created immortal, made in his own image and likeness, and redeemed at a great price from the tyranny of the devil. Fight this day the battle of the Lord, together with the holy angels, as already thou hast fought the leader of the proud angels, Lucifer, and his apostate host, who were powerless to resist thee, nor was there a place for them any longer in heaven. But that cruel, that ancient serpent, who is called the devil, or Satan, who seduces the whole world, was cast into the abyss with all his angels. Behold, this primeval enemy and slayer of man has taken courage. Transformed into an angel of light, he wanders about with all the multitude of wicked spirits, invading the earth in order to blot out the name of God and of his Christ, to seize upon, slay, and cast into eternal perdition souls destined for the crown of eternal glory. This wicked dragon pours out as a most impure flood the venom of his malice on men of depraved mind and corrupt heart, the spirit of lying, of impiety, of blasphemy, and the pestilent breath of impurity and of every vice and iniquity. These most crafty enemies have filled and inebriated with gall and bitterness the church, the spouse of the Immaculate Lamb, and have laid impious hands on her most sacred possessions. In the holy place itself, where has been set up the sea of the most blessed Peter and the chair of truth for the light of the world, they have raised the throne of their abominable impiety with the iniquitous design that when the pastor has been struck, his sheep may be scattered. Arise then, O invincible prince, bring help against the attacks of the lost spirits to the people of God and bring them the victory. The church venerates thee as protector and patron. In thee, holy church glories as her defense against the malicious powers of this world and of hell. To thee has God entrusted 
the souls of men to be established in heavenly beatitude. Oh, pray to the God of peace that he may put Satan under our feet, so far conquered that he may no longer be able to hold men in captivity and harm the church. Offer our prayers in the sight of the Most High so that they may quickly conciliate the mercies of the Lord and beating down the dragon, the ancient serpent, who is the devil and Satan, do thou again make him captive in the abyss, that he may no longer seduce the nations. Amen. Isn't that great? It's just terrific. Swashbuckling even. And that kind of fervor, I feel, is, is very helpful in the current day. It helps us remember our roots, our Christian roots. It helps us know that in many times Christians have been persecuted, the powers of dark, and have made it through, through the help of the Archangel Michael, the Archangel Raphael, the Archangel Gabriel, through all the archangels, the powers and dominions, the cherubim, the seraphim, all the great angelic realm are there to help us remain firm in our faith in Christ, to live our lives in Christ consciousness, no matter what, even if the church doors be closed and locked to us, yet we can practice our faith. That's how I feel about it. All right, this prayer is from English Wikipedia. It's called The Prayer to St. Michael. And you can look it up there anytime. Anytime you feel uh, in danger because of the power of the dark to take over this world and injure us, the power of Archangel Michael is there to protect us and prevent all this. All we have to do is call upon him and we will be safe. Well, God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days.